here log a to the base k. I'll do one question very slowly for you. Log a to the base k. I'm taking this as x. I just want to assume that as x. So we can write uh, let. Let us take log a to the base k is equal to x. That's what I chose as x, please. I'm going slow because it's the first one. Now, this is the logarithmic form. Now, we change this into exponential form. We know the law, right? We put the arrow like that and say a equals to k to the power x. We are changing log to exponents. So, let's see what it comes to be. This is now, it changes to a equals to a equals to, watch that, we, we, we said k to the power x. Okay, so write down there k to the power x. Now, that's the exponential form, right? Keep this in mind, please. Do not forget that. That's your equation number one, right? Call that as equation number one. Do the same thing for that and for that. But don't call each one as x, please, right? Let's call this as y, okay? We call that x and we call this y now. So going back to the basics now again, which is log b, this time log b uh, to the base k. We said let this is equals to y, okay? Now change this also into log uh, the exponential form. How do we go for that? B equals to k to the power y. Come on, B is equal to k to the power y. So let's write write that down. B equals to uh, k to the power y. Okay. Let's use some other color. Oops, sorry. Yep, some other color, which is going to be k to the power y. <coughs> Okay, now this one, let's call it as equation 2. Let's call that as equation 2. So you know where we got these from. The question was in log form, we changed into the exponential form, right? Now, we call that as x, that is y, let's call this as z, okay? Log a, b, now we, we, are, we are taking both, please. So log a, b. The next part is let uh, log a b, which is a times b there, log a b, and to the base k, to the base k is equals to z. Let's call it z this time. Okay, that's a z. Right. This one now change into exponential form as we did there, right? Come on, you know, you know what, what to do now, right? A, B equals to, I'll just go very slowly here. A, B is equal to, which is K to the power Z, okay? Which is going to be K to the power Z. Let's write in this color here. K to the power Z. Right, we call this equation number three. Okay, those are the three equations we have. Look at those three, please. Those are the three. The first one we call that as x, we changed it. This as y and we changed to exponential form. Log a, b to the base k is z. Now, where do you get this x, y, z means we let or we, we assume, we say, let this is equals to x because we don't know what are the values of a, b and k, okay? Now, our job is simply to work with these exponents. Guys, you should be good in exponents, right, to actually do this topic. Now, a equals to k to the power x, b equals to k to the power y, a, b is k to the power z. Let's take this a, b equals to k to the power z substitute the values of a and b on the left hand side and see what happens okay right i'm taking equation three and substituting the values of uh, a and b 
in that. So let's go. Uh, this is, well, equation B is AB equals to, I'll copy that here, which is AB nicely is equals to K. Uh, AB is equals to K. Let's write there K. K to the power Z. Right. AB equals to K to the power Z. This is what I took. I'm going to substitute the values of A and B. We know what is A. Just go and check there. A is k to the power x. So this is what we are going to put in place of A. So let's go. A is now nothing but k to the power x. Okay, that's a k to the power x. And B is nothing but k to the power y. Okay, in place of b, you put k to the power y, which is times again here. This is times, please. Right, so that's k to the power y. Okay, k to the power x times k to the power y equals to k to the power z. So that stays the same because we are doing nothing to that k to the power z. Now, ab equals to k to the power z. We put the values of a and b on the left hand side. Watch what happened. The basis became same, k, k, k. Using our GCSE simple knowledge, if the bases are same, we can actually add the exponents to simplify that, right? You all know that. So, I can write this as k to the power. I just put only one base. The exponents I add, come on, this is k to the power x times k to the power y, which is k to the power x plus y, okay? If it's times, it'll be plus. If it's divided by, it's x minus y. We all know that. Now, equals to comes back and that k to the power z also comes there, right? Now, compare and see what happened on both sides. The bases are equal and therefore we can ignore them. We can say exponents are also equal, right? All, all these are fundamental uh, exponential laws, please. Okay, so now I can ignore those two bases. I can say uh, x, plus, x plus y is equal to z, right? x plus y is equal to z. x plus y equals to z. That is what I can say, okay? Why? Because the bases are equal on both sides, we have a right to say that the exponents are also equal. I want you to go back and check what is x, y, z. We assume that log a to the base k is x. Then we said log b to the base k is y. Then we said log a, b to the base k is z. So do you agree we got x plus y is equals to z as our last step? So all that you go and check your question, does it make sense or not? Right. This is x, this is y, this is z. So x plus y is equal to z. That's all you need to do. Okay, so put those values back uh, and see what we get. We get log a plus y means that's a log b and the base is k please don't forget base is k is equal to is equal to log well z is log a b right that's a log a b which is a times b the base remains as k again okay so this is how you actually do a question Right? They asked you to prove that log a b equals log a plus log b. We assume each one as k or so sorry, uh, x or y or z or p, q, r and then change to exponential form. Then use the last equation there and put those two values into this and you apply simple exponential loss and you get the answer. Right now.